Hi guys, I am Hassan Qureshi and I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to make a magical background, magical effect background. Um, I found it on VV Comp Help video, one of his videos and he found it on a vlog, blog, whatever. Uh, so we're going to create something like this, it doesn't have to be the same colours. So we're going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS3, CS2 or CS4. Then make a new document, 500 by 500 pixels. Um, transparent background, 71.984 resolution. This is very important. People are always saying, I only get this hand tool. Why can't I get, um, I can't use anything else because of their resolution. Or their screen size, not the big. Okay, so to edit fill use black and get that now you want to create a new layer by going up to the layer turn and click new layer and then when you press b and click there and wanna it's like one of the fade effects kind of brushes and make the pixels 500 but the size isn't going to matter just make sure it's one of the fade effects well depending on what size can oops well, depending on what can size canvas you use, it'll, you want, probably want to vary yours. Make sure the foreground color is this like, pinkish color. I'll leave the codes there for a sec so you can see them. There. Yeah, these are the codes. Okay. Now you want to put on that brush and put it right there. Probably a bit off center. Now you want to create another layer and go to filter, render, cloud. Oh no, not yet. You want to go to that layer 2 or layer 1 it should be on yours. And then right click it, go to blending options. Make Click gradient overlay. Set the gradient to the first color, pinkish color and the second color to a light 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 color um remember you don't have to use the same colors as i do and pretty nifty so far i want to filter and oh gone layer two should be on yours but my layer three to filter render clouds and then go to the blending mode go to overlay pretty nice create another layer then you want to go to your foreground color and make it white and make sure the brush tool is selected and go to four pixels make sure the freeform pen tool is selected so you can hold down on the pen tool and the freeform pen tool make sure the path is selected the middle one there from pen tool and exclude overlapping path areas now you want to make your little brush strokes make them kind of wavy I know these are probably aren't the best because I'm just doing any random ones and my poo is stopping me from doing anything and I'm home alone I don't want to go to the toilet I don't want to get the toilet anyway that is not very good for privacy but okay now you want to hold down on the path selection tool let go on direct selection tool and then want to highlight all these lines go to right click one of them and go to stroke path make sure brush is selected as well as simulate pressure and then hit the delete key sweet now you have to go over to the brush tool again and make sure the size is set to five pixels make sure it's still on the fade effects the whole time go to the uh, window and click brushes or you can just press f5 go on scattering make sure pen pressure is for the control and make sure the second control is off count set to one count jitter zero percent and the scatter 521 pixels now i just want to like outline these lines here and then 
so yeah so just outline them the best you can I'm not taking that much care on mine so it's pretty nice so far uh, I'm just going to speedy on that one. Okay, you're gonna get that. Now you wanna select that layer three, I think. Oh, the layer four on yours should be. I think you're gonna create a new layer. Yeah, click on the layer four or layer three on yours. Go to right click it, go to blending options, and then click on the outer glow. Make sure the blend mode is set to color dodge and then click OK. That's pretty nice. Alright, go to right click this layer, go to copy layer style, go under layer 4 or layer 5, it might be in my case, and go to paste layer style. And then now you can put some text on. So make the text color white. And I'm going to use a font called Brie Light. The link to it will be in the description. Make sure it's at 100 text size or it might be very depending on your canvas size. And just like do that. I'm just typing in magic. And move it. And click on that text layer, right click it and go to paste layer style. Don't know why mine already had the layer style on, but it just did. So that is how you create a magical effect. Please comment, rate and subscribe. But first, file, if you want to save it, go to file, save as. Want to save it as a PSD file and a... PNG, you know, JPEG, JPG um, file, I like save it as PNG and then just save it as whatever you want to and I'll show you how to put it as your background as well so I'm saving my as a PNG, I'm going to call it Magic Background save as PNG, I'm saving mine in it pictures and uh, make sure none is selected and click OK for saving as PNG and you might want to save it as a PSD file as well go to file save as magic background let's get rid of that dot PNG and just the format to PSD um PSD, PSD, and click save, and make sure maximize compatibility is checkmarked. Click OK, and now you want to go to where you saved it. Your picture, and then you want to come on. Where is it? Magic background. Where's yeah, there it is. Go to right click it and go to set as desktop background. And it should change. Yep, just change there. And I'll just change it back to my magical effect. Right click, set as desktop background. Thank you. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.